Welcome to Cowgirls, um, Cowgirls Skips channel. We're going to talk about, in my book that I have for cows, headgear. What you can use on a cow to ride. So make sure you, if you want to learn more about how to ride a cow, click the little button and make sure you subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. And also... Let's get in the video. Nobody's perfect, I'll never Okay. Hair gear. Head gear. Sorry about that. It's best to start your steer using a snug a snug halter. Or two lead ropes attached to the side of the rings of the of the rings of the rings. This is simple options or or in an English or Western style side pole. This is because both options are easy on the animal, nose and mouth, and you can turn his head through his body by pulling out and back on back on pulling out and back on one ring. Later when he is later when he is quick on his feet, you can switch to a different kind of headgear if you like. Some of the steer riders are use a malt mouth, straight bar mouthpiece, horse bits, but the cow's mouth isn't idea sort of to carry a bit. You also also a bit can influ influence with cribbin. A better better option a better option is a hackamore bit, also known as a machine hackamore. A hackamore bit is a type of bitless headgear for horses and which the reins connect to the shack, place in between a nose band and crib chains. The downside is that it's difficult to pull hard to direction the reins, pull a rein out to the side, and turn it in a direction. So it's worked best well to train a steer. A better choice of green steer is a side puller bridle, designed for a horse. Through you may have have to hunt for one large enough to fit a steer muzzle. A side post mostly used in western riding is snug nose band with a side ring to which the ring is or attached. A lot of direction pressure to be applied to each side. The nose band can be made of leather, raw ride, or rope. It has it has a straight strap underneath the jaw. Everything is held in place by a hairstyle. A jumping hackamore is visual of the side pose line to be used with English riding gear. Unless you are option for a nose ring or a nose bit, you will need a hairstyle to hold whatever type of gear machine you choose. A simple strap may be cis. for the cows with horns. Horns stables the headgear nicely. Western style poles are built into a headstock as you will have to modify it for the cow by a simple removing the the bow band and the throat latch. With my gear for my cow, um, I have a side pole that I used on my horse. I bought a bridle that does not have none throat slash throat the um the bar band or the throat latch um you can buy some bridles that does not have it um it has one ear thing that I will be taking off but that's about it that's what I'll be using with Daisy but nose rings we're going to talk about nose rings right now one of the biggest choice you have to make is whether you ring your ring, your rider, steer's nose. Most Texas long curry riders, they're steer without bridles. 
but with a rain snatched onto the ring and sure through the animal's nose, such as use coffee nose rings or other prefer a nose fit is a bar that's passed through the steer's nose with a ring with rings attached on either side. My my pits, my pits, my position is that well trained riding animals that has bond with a human since cowhood doesn't require this sort of control. If you disagree, wait until your steer is about one year old and so his nose is close to the adult size. Then your vet instantly the ring or nose bit the steer when nose will be touched up for two months okay. steer's nose will be be touched for will be touchable for up to months rings attached directly to the steer and nose band or nose bit okay i'm gonna talk about hackamore hotters and bits the hackamore the mouth bit, jumping hackamore, or side pole. These all can be used for riding your steer or your cow. The brand, brand, ball brand, headpiece, throat flash, reins, cheek piece, bit, nose band, and bro. So, thank you for, um, thank you for coming and listening to my video on bits and our headgear for cows make sure make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch my other videos make sure you click that little bell to make sure you see more of my videos about cows thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye